A children's choir serenaded him. 21 guns saluted him. His adopted country's legendary leader praised him. 30 years after his death, Ernesto Che Guevara got a final goodbye in Cuba of the kind normally reserved for statesmen. But Guevara was a statesman of sorts. He is credited with having built the foundations of modern revolutionary Cuba, with weapons and with rhetoric. After Guevara's remains and those of six of his comrades were unearthed last July in Bolivia after 30 years of secrecy, the Cuban government organized an interment ceremony aimed at reaffirming his ideals. No venimos a despedir al che. We are not here to say goodbye to Che and his comrades. We are here to welcome them. I see Che and his men as a battalion of invincible combatants who come to fight alongside us and to write new pages of history and of glory. Crowds of ordinary Cuban citizens were present at the ceremony. Some had flags of different nations and organizations that in one way or another were influenced by the ideals of the Argentine doctor turned revolutionary hero. With the ceremony, the Cuban government tried to relive more heady times, when revolutionaries were busy trying to build a new system of government rather than trying to keep one from disintegrating. Che is fighting and winning more battles than ever. Thank you, Che, for our history, your life, and your example. Thank you for coming to reinforce us. Guevara's remains were buried at the site where he and his men launched the final offensive that made dictator Fulgencio Batista flee Cuba in 1959. The hope is to immortalize what many here consider to be one of the greatest acts of Cuban revolutionary heroism. But the true test of time comes now as the Cuban authorities face an increasingly difficult economic reality. Trying to combine Che Guevara's communist ideals with the economic reforms that are necessary to ensure survival. Harris with CNN, Santa Clara, Cuba.